Hi and welcome to another Unity tutorial. I'm back, I know I've been gone for a while, but uh, today I'd like to show you how to do some terrain and trees. Okay, to get started, the first thing you need to do is click on terrain, and then create terrain, and a plane will be created for you in the middle of your scene view. Then, if you click on the um, terrain section in the inspector, you'll see there's some buttons across the top. You can raise and lower the height of the terrain, set the terrain height, smooth the terrain, put some trees and um, plants and other bits and pieces. You go ahead and click on the raise and lower the terrain height button. You'll see there's some brushes here that you can use. Now, if you go back into your viewport, and you'll see a, a very faint blue brush layer of where your terrain is going to be created. So you click the left mouse button and hold, and then it's really as easy as painting it. You just click where you want it to go and up it comes. If you click on areas that you've already previously raised, you'll make it even bigger. And then you can smooth this down by using the smooth the terrain height button, click on there, and then I, you can choose your brush again and then just paint over the top of where you've uh, raised and it smooths, smooths it all um, nicely. Now to place some trees, you go back into the inspector and click on the place trees button, then go to edit trees, add tree, and then where it says none game objects in the box that pops up, click in the little circle, and then click on the palm, double click on the palm, sorry, and then click on add, a little box will pop up in the inspector showing you what tree you've got, and then all you have to do is just paint where you want them to go. Now we've got some trees in the scene, we can actually look at putting a texture on our terrain just to make it look a little bit more believable. Now if you go and on the internet somewhere and just see if you can download a texture that looks a little bit like grass and something that looks a little bit like sand, and then I will continue with the tutorial. Okay, now that you've got your textures, if you right click in the project box and go to import asset, and then um, if you load in your textures, Okay, now that we've got our textures in, if you click back on the landscape or the plane that you created, and if you go to the paint brush, and you click on there, and you'll see you've got your brushes, you can choose one of those, and then underneath it says textures, no terrain textures defined. If you click on the edit textures box below there, and then add texture, and then if you click where it says um, none texture 2D in brackets, click on the small circle next to that, and then you'll be able to use one of the textures. Actually, there is some textures in there by default. You don't need to bring in your own. Um, so I'll go ahead and choose Grass Hill, and then Add, and it pops into our scene. It's just a case of selecting which one you want, choosing your brush, and then clicking it in the scene window and painting it. You see here I'm clicking on the sand texture. I'm putting a sa some sand on a few hills. And uh, that's, that's quite cool. Now to run around this texture, um, you'll notice that because we use the terrain um, plane to start off with, it's put a collider in there already. So we don't need to worry about our camera falling through. So if we go and right click in the project window, import package, and then go to character controller, and then import. Now once you've imported your character controller, if you click on the standard assets triangle next to uh, next to the word standard assets there, and you'll see character controllers, click on that again, and drag the first person controller into the hierarchy, and it comes up a bit far away. So if you reset the position and the inspector to zero, 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 it puts it um, in somewhere that's a bit more easy to manage, in, right in the corner of our terrain. And if you click on the move button, then we can move our character or camera into position. And if we go ahead and click on play, you can see we've come into our um, into our game. We're right on the edge of the platform, and uh, we're miles away from the trees, so we could click on the play button again to stop the game from running. And if you click on the Y 
section of the gizmo in the same window puts it into a top down view and now we can zoom out and move our character to somewhere that's a little bit more interesting might have to zoom in a bit to do that you can press the F on the keyboard and it focuses, it focuses in on the object and then we just need to bring it back in and click on play again there we go, we can see our trees, it's all a little bit dark there so to improve on that we can drop a light into our scene and very quickly I'll show you if you can game object create other and point light comes into the scene and we can just move it into position if you, again if you put zero 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 into the transform position box then if you click and point light in the hierarchy if you double click it will zoom into it we can raise it up a section and then um, change the range to something a little bit bigger let's try 100 and you can see the box there that represents how far the light's going to be shone out from the from the actual light itself. And if we increase the intensity to make it brighter, to make the light even bigger, let's put a thousand in there. We'll raise it up a little bit, adjust the intensity slightly. There we go. Let's press play and see what that looks like. There we are. That's much better put the player in a bit of a silly position though I'm stuck in a hole. So go ahead and press play. Let's add some sky in. If you right click in the project box and go to import package and then sky boxes and you would present it with the import package box. Let's go ahead and click on import and we'll bring everything in. Okay and then once that's imported if you go up to edit and then render settings and you'll see the skybox materials section in the inspector click in the circle next to that and then scroll down and this is everything we've just imported and you'll see sunny skybox so just double click on that one now if you press play again you'll notice that we have um, some sky in the scene i think we're going to go ahead and move the player so double click on the first person controller Moving on over here. See what that looks like now. There we go, that's much better. This needs a bit more painting around those areas of the terrain. Um, that is more or less it for, this, for um, how to create a very basic terrain and how to move around it. You can see where I've painted the textures. It all goes from like a grass effect and then gets more sandy and stony. And then in just a short time, it's amazing the details that you can create. Um, I've managed to get some grass in the scene. I've got some, a few more trees placed here and there, and a bit of water as well, which I'm not going to show you how to do. I have actually gone through these in um, previous tutorials. It'd be nice to see how well you get on your own, and let's see some people post some responses to this video of uh, the terrains they've managed to create. So for my next tutorial, what I want to do is start um, start like a small series of how you actually go about creating a, like a proper level with light maps. We'll see if we can get some normal maps as well and uh, create a game stage by stage. See if we can do a zombie game in an old style house or something. That'd be pretty cool. But uh, any suggestions, then leave them in the comment section below of what our game can entail and um, I will make a Turbo Squid account where people can download the models and textures if they don't wish to go through the whole 3D Max process. But anyway, thanks for watching and uh, happy coding! And oh, by the way, before I forget, uh, it would be cool if you would check out um, our Real Visual 3D channel. It's a company where I work at. We're doing some really clever stuff with Unity 3D and uh, create some really nice simulations so it'd be uh, great if you guys could uh, head over there and check that out and it'll also give you a good idea of what is actually um, accomplishable in Unity. Thanks guys!